and you know, over the years you get mail. And then all of a sudden a cat comes along and they bring your mail in, they say, oh, here's a letter for you, Jim, and they bring a bag in for Bob. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, well, we'd like to introduce the judges to you. Now, they, they will be judging the Bob the Weathercat wannabe judged on their tape, which we'll tell you all about. But first, we tell you about the contest. Let's tell you about our judges. We have with us, as you, you met, Bob and Sheila. We have David Apple, Matt Zafino, and Jim Little. I don't know why we have all weather people judging. Well, it's a weather department thing. I guess. All right. David, I think David was probably with the cat the longest. How many years were you were you with Bob? Over five. Over five, five years. years. Five. All right. Well, their tape, which we'll see, is worth one to five points. The personality is worth one to ten points. Their camera presence, one to ten points. The owners will be asked a question about their cat, and one of the judges um, will will ask them, and they won't be judged on their answer. The cat is the only one being judged. Right. Uh, all righty. Well, uh, I guess we start with number one which is uh, Pepper. This is Pepper, and let's take a look at his tape. That's Pepper. All right. Please welcome Pepper and his mom, Olivia Fowlis. Pepper likes bike riding and gardening, lives at a kennel with five sisters. He, uh, his lifetime goal is to be Hollywood bound. And Olivia, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> let's start with our first judges, and you get to ask one question. Okay, Bob, Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the tail? Where's the tail? He's a Manx. Oh, okay. He's a Manx cat. He hasn't got any tail. Does, how long have you been dressing this cat like this, or did you just start? Oh, no, he's been dressing for a couple of years. These are really his legs. Yeah, I thought they, <laughs> they can't really no. have... Of course they are. Cat legs don't fit into shoes. <laughs> But sure enough, these are his Those feet. Those are his feet and legs. Unbelievable. I All guess right. that was your one question. All righty. What do you think, audience? Pepper. All right. Our second, our second uh, contestant is Profile. And I mean, our second contestant is Johnny. And here's Johnny's video. Here's video of Johnny. All right, that's uh, Johnny. And... Uh, Here's Johnny's profile. Uh, Johnny uh, has hobbies of shopping and traveling. Um, personal, in the personal column, Johnny is retired due to inability to reproduce. Oh my God. <laughs> and uh, uh, Johnny's lifetime goal is to return to the limelight. Oh, and I wish you well. And uh, Johnny is escorted by his owner, PJ Stevens. We thank you very much. And we'll go to uh, David Apple. David, you have a question for PJ. I do, I do. I'd, I'd like to ask Johnny. Johnny? <whistles> Johnny, could you give us a quick overview of Coriolis force and its effect on, on, on the formation of El Nino? <laughs> oh, another one of those tough weather questions. <laughs> Johnny? No, okay, good. How That's... long, PJ, have you been dressing this cat? Now listen to this. We haven't been dressing her. This came up and my sister said, we got to do it. So we got some clothes and this is what happened. <laughs> and Johnny likes it. But Johnny likes it. Johnny's a boy and he's supposed to be dressed dress. no, like a girl. This is Johnny Jump Up. She is a girl. Oh, oh she is oh, a girl. She is a girl. Oh. And the oh, reason of the reproduction is that she had had cesarean and so they couldn't use her anymore. Oh, okay. So that's the reason she retired. All right, oh. All right let's hear it for Johnny. Next contestant, contestant number three, is Modem. Let's take a look at Modem. All right, there's Modem. All right, let me tell you about Modem. Modem's hobbies are walking and power lounging, lives with his girlfriend who's called Laptop. His lifetime goal is to click the mouse icon, escorted by Cindy Sunderland. Please welcome Modem. And Jim Little. Your question. No. I'm sorry, it's Matt. It's Matt. Oh, I'm sorry, Matt. Go uh, ahead. First of all, I want to ask that first cat, uh, does the ASPCA know about this? <laughs> <laughs> Quite a get up there. For this cat, it's a question about cold fronts. Uh, modems, you know the difference between an anafront and a catafront? <laughs> no, do you, Matt? <laughs> well, Jim, I'll explain to you later. <laughs> is this something you did just for this contest, or is Modem used to this? Modem's used to this. He has lots of costumes that he wears. Why do you do it? 
Well, he doesn't seem to mind it. Mm -hmm. And I know he likes the attention. Right, so you just one day decided to dress him up? Uh-huh, we saw Bob, and his lifelong dream is to be Bob, so. Oh. <laughs> so which came first, uh, Modem's coat or your coat? <laughs> <laughs> Modem's, actually. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Our next contestant is uh, Milo Pilo. Here's the video of Milo Pilo. Do you want to be the next KATU weather kitty? Oh, you do. You want to know how much it pays? Yeah. Well, you're a good boy. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, that's Milo Pilo. We should say that uh, all the videos you are seeing, their owners took them. And in many cases, you're hearing the owners talking to their cats on the video. Mm -hmm. And the cats don't answer. Anyway, Milo Pilo, hobbies, ice hockey, and napping. Uh-huh. Ice hockey and napping. Uh, on the personal side, Milo is single but in love. True. A lifetime goal, get paws in the television broadcasting business. And we welcome the owner, Michael Burris. Michael and Milo. All right, James, you have the question. Uh, I have a political question. I would like to know, have you ever used catnip? And if so, did you inhale? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> the cat is a little nervous, becoming shifty. <laughs> when did you start dressing Milo up? Just as soon as we saw the, the contest was Oh, done. so this yeah. is not something you've done before? No, no, okay. but he's very tame. And he likes it? Yeah, he seems All to. All right. Okay. Let's hear it for Milo. Let's hear it for Milo. Thank you. All right, our next contestant... Our next contestant is Patches. Let's take a look at Patches. He's really tired. He just had his baba. And he'll sleep like this for about three hours. And he won't wake up and he won't get up. And if he does wake up, or if he wants some baba or bottle or some food, he'll sit and he'll meow and cry in his bed until I come and get him. about Patches. Patches, uh, his hobbies are being burped and diapered. Oh after my. His baba. <laughs> after his baba. <laughs> after he wakes up from a three-hour nap. Personal, his mother won't let him date. His lifetime goal is to be weaned, and he's escorted by his owner, Sally Donato. <laughs> Sally, if you want, you could go ahead and put Patches back in, in her little, uh, whatever that is, That's walker. walker. And that... Look at she just, she just seems down so there. much more comfortable in there. And then now she wants a baba. Okay. Doesn't want a baba. All right. All right. Let's. Okay, uh, we're back to Bob. We're back to Bob and Sheila. Go ahead and Do ask you your questions? question. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, come on Sally, up here. Sally, come over by the microphone, darling. Can you do that? Yeah. Can just you? Need, yeah. Oh yeah. You Cats don't want to leave her alone. Your question, Bob. Any question, oh. Bob? Do you use cloth or disposable? <laughs> <laughs> Sally, come on Sally, up here to the here. mic. Now, I use cloth. You use cloth diapers. Now, is, are these diapers functional or are they just ornamental? Just, mm. you don't know. Does, does this cat need diapers or do you just do it to... I just do it. You just do it. Okay, I was wondering. All right, let's All hear right. it for Patches. All right. Our next cat is... Um, Let's see the video of Fluffy, a.k.a. Cliff the Cat. This is Fluffy or Cliff the Cat. Cliff the Cat, dribbling down, going in for a slam dunk. Went in for a slam and broke the backboard. What do you see to that, Cliff? That's a $5,000 fine. <laughs> All right, that's uh, Fluffy or Cliff the Cat. Uh, the personals on uh, Cliff are basketball, the hobbies are basketball and shopping for new headbands. Uh, on the personal side, not dating until after the playoffs, uh-huh. Lifetime goal, use up all the nine lives in the NBA. And, uh, of course, Cliff is escorted by owner Laurie, Laura, Hauk, Hauk, right? Okay, let's welcome Laura and Cliff. <laughs> We're back to you, David. Uh, do you have a question for Laura? Well, actually, the... the question is for Cliff the cat. 
Why is it all our judges persist in asking a cat something they know the cat can't answer? But it's, it's five years of reading mail. That's why we ask these judges. Five years of reading mail from the cats. I see. I see. <laughs> Are you ready for tonight, Cliff? That's all I want to know. Are you ready for tonight? You got the red headband on. It looks like the home headband. Yeah. You can talk right. the game, but can you play the game? And how do you respond to the Blazers being a dumb team? That's what I yeah. want to know. <laughs> Laura, how long have you been dressing this cat? Uh, probably since I was like six. Six? How old was the cat? Uh, about kitten. kitten. Just a baby, huh? All right. All right. Thank you, Laura. Thanks. Thank you, Cliff. We're, we're going to take a break. Next, we'll cuddle your cat with cat products. And Marianne Bauer is here. And we'll meet the winners. Coming up, the judges are beginning to tabulate. We'll take a break and be right back. We're back and we're down to it. We're going to announce the winner. Those were some of the uh, contestants that we had. And we want to thank everyone for sending in your tapes. This is no, no small chore. First finding out if your cat will dress up, you know, and then getting out the old video camera and doing that. We thank you very much. I want to ask Jim and Matt and, uh, and David and Bob and Sheila, anything before we announce the winner? Difficult contest, Jim? It was really hard. The difference between the winner and the number six cat was just that much. Really? It was really tough to decide. Is, would you say by a whisker, then? Exactly. Oh, I thought exactly. so. Matt, can you uh, beat that one? No, I'm, I'm looking I'm for some good stuff. on that one, okay. I know. Sheila and Bob, you're the owners of the original, the one and only, the world famous, perhaps the most famous cat in the world right now, or at least in our part of the town. Uh, was this a tough one to judge? Very hard. Yeah, very hard. All right, let's get to the winner. Are you ready, everyone? The winner of the first annual Bob the Weather Cat Wannabe Contest is Milo Pilo! Boy, I think, um, I don't know. He wants to. He wants Bob's job. Well, you know what's going to happen. He will get a chance to be um, mm -hmm. to be on the news, okay? Because this is what he wins: a spot on the weather with Bob to be announced on AM Northwest, a year's wellness program at the Banfield Pet Hospital, and a pet carrier, pet food from Imes, a year's worth of kitty litter from Western Family, and the other finalists win cat food and kitty litter from Western Family and coffee cups from Banfield Pet Hospital. We've got some bibs <laughs> and hats terrific. and things like that. But Good you boy. are, congratulations, Milo Pilo, and boy. thank you all for entering your cats, dressing them up, and <laughs> making them look great. All right, we want to thank our judges. We'll take a break, and when we come back, Master Gardener Ed Hume joins us, so stay with us. Wednesday on AM Northwest, author Anne Rule and American Detectives Lieutenant John Vanell join other experts to discuss why Americans are fascinated with true crime. All right, great show. We have a winner, Milo Pilo. Anyway, uh, one of the prizes for Milo was an appearance with Bob the Weather Cat on a Friday night weather cast with Jim Little. And we'll take a look at that now. Here's the way it looks. This, is, this of course, was during playoffs. So, naturally, Bob's the blazer. And Milo was a Utah Jazz member. Milo in the crouched position there. Uh, the two of them side by side looked like this. Uh, Bob a little taller, a little better shooter. But Milo gave it everything. You know, Bob's got so much more self-confidence. Yes. Milo kind of cowering yeah. there, not knowing what to think of all this. <laughs> Coming up tomorrow on AM Northwest, we are going to do our Rekindle the Romance show. Now, we have guys going from ho-hum to hubba hubba with boudoir photos and also had men's lingerie. Okay, Bob the Weathercat has been appearing on Channel 2 for years now. Here are some of Bob's best shots.